Okay, so hopefully the sun doesn't play uh, too much of a havoc with the uh, camera here because it's particularly bright outside today. Um, so this is the running gear. It is an Oliver 391A running gear, something like that. Uh, let's look at the tag. Yeah, 391A running gear, Oliver farm equipment. Um, I have no earthly idea how old this uh, running gear is. Uh, it's not big by any means, uh, but it was given to me by a good friend. And so uh, it has sat in a barn for the past about 20, 25 years, uh, not with much use. And so last year, I actually got it about a year ago, um, I got it home and uh, greased the wheel bearings and um, uh, re basically got in all the bearings and everything and uh, kind of uh, redid it. And so uh, now I'm going to use it as just a, a general service running gear around our, our place and also something that I can put uh, the water tank on to water some trees. So uh, what I'm doing today is I'm building a new top for it. It was a feed wagon prior to this. Uh, so what I did, and you know, I, I realized I probably could have done this a lot cheaper going and getting roughs on uh, timber from say like a, an Amish or Hutterite colony, something like that. Um, but you know, I decided I just went down to Lowe's and I bought some uh, pressure treated lumber. Uh, the two, the two by four, or I mean the four by sixes here, um, those are for rated for in ground contact, and then the two by sixes there are rated for above ground. But I don't think that'll make uh, too much of a difference for my use uh, right now. Um, but anyway, what I've done is I've taken some four by fours right here and um, lifted the, the stringers up. Um, I was gonna do uh, two bolts uh, to hold the stringer in, but what I decided to do to allow a little bit more flexing is I'm only going to do one. So uh, I've got one side done, and uh, you can see, originally I was gonna get six by sixes, uh, so actually I bought eight inch uh, bolts. So these are actually a little long, uh, they're galvanized, but I decided that, um, you know, hey, it's okay. Uh, I'll just get the, I could save about 20 bucks by going with uh, the four by sixes instead of the six by sixes, uh, which I mean, uh, you know, as it is, this project's gonna run about 210, 220 bucks uh, with all the hardware and everything. Um, so anyway, what I've done is I've measured two feet back. Uh, these are 12 foot long uh, four by sixes. I've measured two feet back and I've drilled the holes uh, correct to go with the mounting uh, hole here um, and then those are 5 8 uh, galvanized um, uh, nuts and bolts and uh, then the same thing back here I've just matched this up I didn't measure it out I just matched it up I used a, um, a 7 8 uh, wood bore bit uh, mostly because it takes out a little bit of the guesswork uh, for um, drilling the holes uh, you can see like I said I've already got that side done and now I'm going to work on this side. Uh, pretty easy stuff here, uh, nothing too complicated. Um, here's basically just a pair of washers and the hardware. Uh, those are 5 sixteenths. Um, it's five, you need a 5 sixteenths socket and ratchet to do it. So anyway, I'll go ahead and get the stringers on here and then what we're gonna do, or then what I'm gonna do, is take, those are 12 foot uh, long two by sixes and uh, I'm going to cut those into six. I'm basically going to cut each one into two. Uh, I thought about going with two by eights or two by tens, but uh, with two by sixes, I could actually save a little bit of money. I do not have enough to finish it. Um, I needed 14, I should need 14 boards to finish uh, the whole length of the, all 12 feet. Um, but instead, I only got 10 because I want to see how the spacing goes. And I don't know if I want actually want to leave space between the boards or not for water drainage, etc. Um, so I just want to see what I can come up with. And if I need to go back and buy some more, I will. Um, but anyway, so I'll get busy doing this and I'll start cutting all these boards. And once I get all the boards cut uh, and I'll lay them out and I'll show you what I'm up to. <coughs> all right, got involved in doing other projects. And so uh, I don't have all these boards uh, screwed down yet, but I'll work on this uh, later. But this is my progress so far. Um, I'm really happy with the way it's turning out. I will need more uh, boards on the end. I've got a couple... I don't know, probably about a foot and a half at the very end uh, that I need to fill in here. 
So um, anyway, this is what I've done so far. Uh, end of the video, I will show you the finished product. All right, so here it is, um, mostly complete. Uh, the biggest thing I ran into is I don't ha I didn't ran out of lumber for uh, this back here. Um, so basically I've got two feet that I still need to cover. Um, I'm half tempted just to leave it open uh, for something else, I don't know. I'll probably leave the boards on there and then uh, go from there. But uh, the only thing I have left to do is to go ahead and underneath here, or you know, on top of here, I'll go ahead and put a 2x4 down um, to kind of hold the edges together. Um, came together pretty good. Um, I'm really happy with my uh, line of screws there. They look pretty good. Um, really happy with the edge. It looks halfway decent. Uh, there's a couple parts where I wish it was a little bit better. But... Um, yeah, i happy to put this thing to use in a couple weeks uh, with the tank. We'll put the tank up there, strap it down. Um, I may go ahead and put some, some D-rings on here uh, just to strap stuff down. Uh, that might be a good possibility. I'll just run some D-rings uh, down into the uh, main beam here and I go from there. But anyway, um, that's it for this video. Uh, hopefully see it in action in a couple weeks and be good to go.